YOLO composing gloves here. And today we're gonna just be writing some music. So here's a preview. Okay, so here's our preview for those of you at the beginning. Sounds like this. So I mean, there's still a lot of work to be done, went down some funny paths, but we've found our way to this sort of a thing. The cuts and chops need to be, you know, redone, probably progress things a little bit more, work with the form a bit more. But uh, this video is unique in that uh, we really go down a weird, like it just wasn't working, at least I didn't think it was. So we came to this and uh, this sounds pretty cool. Drums and stuff all need to be cleaner. Like I know there's still a ton that needs to happen, but hopefully this will give you some ideas on things you can do and perhaps use. All right, you've heard the preview. So now let's go ahead and write some. And I have this library here called Master Solo Woodwinds, la 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 la. It's a, um, it's a one I got on a bundle. So I actually don't know what I'm about to write, but you do. And I have not created patches for these because they're new, but I kind of want to give them a whirl, you know? So I, I'm a clarinet player. This clarinet has a, has a, this. You hear that? That is air leaking out of the side of the player's mouthpiece. Some people, I, I met some players who think it's, it sounds nice. I think it's like, I do not, I completely disagree. It's extraneous noise. It shouldn't be there. But some players think it's part of playing the clarinet. But the, my instructor at the time, who was very, very amazing at clarinet, I was on my side. So I'm like, I don't know, man. But some players, I don't know why. But to me, that should not be there. Some sample libraries think they're like being... I'm not saying this one in particular. I have no idea. I did not help make this library or anything. I've just... This is in common with libraries. Sometimes they do it and they like the hissing sound of the air because now it's like more human. To me, this is, this is a complete lie. But... Um, it doesn't, you just change on the close mics. You just, you know, use a, uh, a farther mic position and that problem goes away. And it's not a particularly big problem. On certain notes, you'll notice the nature of it will change. But it is one that I'm just like, man, if I'm playing legato, I don't need some guy's like sound. It usually means the clarinet player has been playing too long because um, your mouth tires out. You can still pump the air. You just can't keep it all in. Anyways. I digress. Let's write something. I changed my tempo to 99 because uh, 999, that's like the sale price, dude. If it's 100, you're going to sell less. So we got to be at 999. And then I look here and I say, mm, maybe I'll run around in G. And I'm going to do 4-4. Four, four, so let's, let's stick with that. Maybe we'll go... Uh, maybe we'll go G minor instead. Let's do something like that. Dude. Oh, yeah. Let's do low end. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, whatever. But uh, anyways, I don't know what that was about. Like, oh, yeah, low end. All right, cool. Uh, so I haven't created a patch for this. So the thing about it is I'm going to really quick do that. Because if I don't, um, what note is this? This is C. That's C0. Or that's uh, C negative one, negative two, C negative one, C zero. So that's got to be C, um, C sharp zero, C sharp. This is the process, by the way. I got to go down to zero to make these patches. Um, I'm actually gonna put this on the the first one. What note number was that? 25 all right 
25. And then we have another one, 26, 25, 26, 27. So this, and I'll name this. This is our legato no vibra. Rato. Always get confused on if things are spelled with. Um, yeah. And then this one's polyphonic no vi. Rato. Okay. Let's see here. Did I get it right? I did get it right. All right, cool. We're working in the right register. Um, just got to check the negative octaves, you know? Never 100% with this kind of stuff. So this was what, 27? Okay, that's 27. We're just going down the list here. So we got trills here. So we go, okay, 28 is trills. 20 nine is flutter it's kind of strange they put this staccato and staccatissimo over there they've got a triple tongue wow that is that's something else triple tongue Thirty one Staccato thirty two Staccatissimo and then they also have this sort of as a bonus thirty three key noises. So they 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 may have like subscribed to this oh the air leaking out thing sounds cool, but obviously I disagree. I'm going to call it a thing with clarinet because I want to use a clarinet. Okay, cool. And the chances are this patch will work for other things as well. I want to use the staccatissimo. And then we're going to vary the staccatissimo. We're going to have to change mic positions. I'm not happy with that. Boo -doo -doo. Wow, that, they've really got some detail in here. That's that's responsive. Okay, um Let's see if the note value changes things. Whoops. Nope, not really. Uh, but the velocities are great. Some some libraries the note links uh, matter a lot. It, so a lot of eight Dio stuff is like that. And then this note again. Actually, this whole phrase, I want to manipulate it. So uh, let's do a little sequence here. Not like a fancy formal sequence, but whatever. Whoops. <laughs> a little relative major call. Now, 
Now, the thing about this uh, deal, the bundle deal, is it only came with kind of your standard stuff. So for like, I, I can already feel like, oh man, I want to add a bass clarinet to this. Boom, boom. Actually, maybe go up on that. All right, so that sounds pretty rad. I'm pretty stoked over this. I want to add another one of these. See how long it takes to friggin' load. Whoa, that loaded really fast. Okay, the first load took like 10 years, um, which was my experience with a lot of Spitfire stuff. But from my understanding, as long as I keep my drive plugged in, it actually will load within a, a well, that was very reasonable. Um, cool. So I saved it as, this is not the final patch version. But uh, I really am digging this staccato staccatissimo type deal. So I'm picturing of having two more clarinets, sort of this little clarinet choir going on that are playing this sort of nice back and forth melody. Maybe these ones, I'm really digging the ribbon spot mic. I'm assuming these are, pur yeah, these are purge buttons. So um, that'll save me some CPU. Turn on the spot mic. Um, that's right in our first line. So we've got this sort of back and forth on G minor and and maybe a, it's not quite D. It's well, it's like a D. It's D minor, G minor to D minor, so it's modal, whatever. So I'm picturing this like in and out thing. Na na. Another clarinet. And these ones are going to need. Okay, it sounds like I'm not sure what the difference is between the two, but dynamic usually is linked to um, a little more sample based stuff, so we'll run with dynamic for now.
I have some uh, I've messed with this a little bit and I really like their light legato. It's it's really pretty smooth. use that as only being point. flat here um c a with a d makes sense back to this we go to c maybe move this down There we jump into a, a cool clarinet thing like and then maybe some drums and stuff. So now with this, I'm thinking um, bass clarinet. There we go. So, this is going to be our bass clarinet. String, symphonic, symphonic woodwinds, bass clarinet. Here we go. So, you definitely hear the, the difference. Definitely recorded somewhere else. Do 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 do. Thank you. 
They also have a um, yeah. Spitfire's got more diverse stuff, but um, these actually these together these are gonna be cool. Uh, also, I want a a contrabassoon in on this. You know, I'm feeling out a contrabassoon. Contra this is Contra Bassoon. Gonna copy our our clarinet line. Let's make sure we've got the correct We need a drum. We're going to need a snare drum eventually. I might as well toss it in now. I actually like the contact standard on some of this stuff. Um, the kick and snare are, some are super straightforward. It's a kick and a snare. timpani going here timpani i work i don't know i don't work at an incredibly fast pace but i feel like it's fine for most stuff So with the timpani, there's no fancy nothing. It's as simple as it's just moving the expression. Whoops, did not want to do that. Delete this jazz. I just want to edit the events in the piano roll.
Okay, I'm hearing some flutes. Time to bring in the flutes. Woodwinds, flutes A2. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Dang it. I hate it when I accidentally do that. Flutes A2, symphonic woodwinds. <laughs> Oh, you know what? We could do some sweet flutter rolls. should be B flat. Maybe we should extend out this front part a little longer. Maybe make it eight bars instead and then work from there. Yeah. Let's um let's have an intro phrase using this and then we'll build into this. So we'll snipe this one. And we'll extend this over here. This first part will also have maybe a um, a second clarinet sort of doing this little undertone thing. This can go back. Mm 
I'm not I'm not liking this anymore. Let's get rid of it and instead assign these let's go back to this interesting staccato part and maybe Whoops. Maybe not, maybe we should just build up from here. Bum, 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 bum. We could take this section, repeat it, and on this we could bring in a new line. I think we found a something cool. Um, where's that flute at? Does that make sense though? Is where it's at?
not all the right notes, but we'll fix that. I think here is where we can introduce the beat. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's grab a... I mean, we could go a number of directions from here, doesn't it? We could get orchestral and introduce things and start creating more of a form. We definitely have some motifs to work with. I'm going to go to battery, but I want to I want to wrap up this video. So to do that, we need some sweet drums. Bless my soul. There we go. Sounds better. And a hi hat. I'm not, I'm looking for something sort of, yeah, kind of dull. And then a, a snare. Gosh dang snares, come on. I don't know. I'll try writing without a snare for a while. Which one's the shorter one? Maybe add a touch of swing. Huh, that's the default, we don't want that. Oh. Maybe. Oh uh, yeah, sing we'll do single patience heavier on later patterns. Uh probably find a better kick, but and then we'll do a fill on this one. It's mostly just revolves around the kick. Too much. <laughs>
Um, I feel like we could get the snap to come through though. Let's uh, toss an EQ on this thing. I'm assigning it to 83 hertz from now. Putting just a general boost, probably actually mostly frowned upon. If anything, you would keep this the same, roll off some of this really cool stuff. And then we'll probably get the tone I want out of Maximus. It's because we'll be able to go after the mid and high range. And usually default bands I'm pretty used to working with, so. Let's get that high end pop. Ah, uh, man, I don't want to get too distracted with the drums, but I got to work on them a little bit, you know. I could spend a while more on that kick. I feel like uh, if I want to really make a difference with this thing, I could use a transient master. That's fine for now. Um, what I want to do is I want to take this. I'm going to mess with it some. But uh, what would be kind of cool is to go to the contact bus, which is where all my contact stuff's coming through. Throw down an isotope stutter effect. I don't know where that is in the list. Stutter. I know it's somewhere in that list, but this is just faster. Go to... Input port, change it to something crazy like 12. Oh, man, it's so sweet when menus. Hey, you know what? This is one of the few isotope plugs that doesn't cause my computer to flip out. Um, hopefully, they don't change that. Uh, MIDI, out. Iso stut -er. Why not? And ports, what did I change it to? 12? Oh, I have to still, ch they don't have a type option. 12. There we go. So now this controls that. Let's um filters, modulations, cuts and jumps. I kind of want these. Super glitch me divine. Let's find out what that's all about. So with this, it's um pretty easy to sort of get in. So there's you could like create your own sort of crazy conundrum, or you can just slap down a MIDI thing, write in some notes. Uh, somewhere out there. Let's see what we got here. Okay, th that one's crazy. These don't seem to be doing anything. Yeah, I don't think there's presets down there. Let's do this for only a piece. All right, maybe the utter, the utter divine, stutter divine, utter divine. Let's go with just basic stutters, okay? Let's not get too crazy here. Wow, that's a, uh, oh, oh. let's put that there. Not too long. This sounds, um, was it Kate Complex? I can't remember who. It does, it's the 18th century DJ. I can't remember who wrote it at the moment, but uh, I really like that song. 
that sounded like something that would happen there. It cut so much you thought I was a DJ. Oh, yeah, good song. So, okay, that's a little crazy. Might not have, um, I feel like this, elements of this could fit over here. Um, let's see here. Oops, needs to go one bait, one more bait. There we go. See this, uh, it's a little out of place. Let's see what other ones we have here. I dig this one, that's a cool one. This one might be a little sudden. Maybe a little more predictable further up and for less time. be cliche so let's put something else here <laughs> that's cool it changes our freaking flute line okay um let's check out uh at the end of these we really need to add in we need to bring in a bass at some point and then probably call it after that Where's that timpani roll? I want the timpani roll. I don't want to have to rewrite all the notes though, because I'm lazy. I don't know if that's lazy. I just don't want to do that. I'm going to go like this. Make unique. I'm just clever. That's it's different. Cut, 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 cut. Cut, uh, leave, leave, I think that's it. Here, bass. Make unique. So bass. Um, do I have portamento? Something I've been meaning to add. Or legato, I mean. Or port portamento could be cool. Dude. Dude, 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 dude. It's like, do, 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 do. Maybe not that.
Um, I believe it's Alt X brings up the yeah, the multiplier. There we go. Uh, fun fact: Alt X also makes the codes for Word work. Type in the, one of the codes. It's like Unicode only for Word because Word document because they have like their own deal. I just I think I have clashing F sharps and stuff. I don't think it matters too much though. For this moment, maybe not. Maybe it's all F natural. That note doesn't exist. If I want that, I'm going to need to go to the contrabassoon. Okay, so I only messed with the clarinet, really. Uh, ideally, I'd mess with the flute, um, but piccolo and stuff a little bit more. But the experiences, I actually already have a little, and the experiences are very similar to this. And this is actually a pretty awesome experience. Um, it was a yeah, great bundle deal, that's for sure. I don't know if there's supposed to be a symbol there or if they deliberately... It looks like there is. I don't know. Anyways, here, I think we're going to call it there. Maybe have this section repeat twice for now but i think we definitely have a good bed to work off of so i mean i'm not going to edit any of this out but like we went through a process and it, it, we found some stuff that didn't work and we ended up making it work so that's pretty cool that's just the way it tends to be i'll go down one road go down another road and recording videos like these can be videos like this can be difficult because if one road doesn't work out, like, what, do I just leave that in there? Do I take it out? Do I just skip around? And um, I know for me personally, when I was looking at things, I'd like to see, you know, how does, uh, when I was watching other people do stuff like this, how did they, I, I never, actually, I never really did. I always wished I could. I'm like, how do they deal with things when they don't sound good like this? Um, so I think we came up with something pretty cool. Radically changed our idea of what I, what I thought I was going to do. I didn't sit down with a very strong structure or chord setup or anything like that, but um, we could have incorporated something like that and gone towards a, a goal a little more directly. Uh, at this point, I'd probably add in a couple elements, um, such as like background noises and, and atmospheres and stuff, trying to establish the mood a little more clearly, and then consider adding in some noises of the vocal kind, whether or not they're actual lyrics, I don't know. But um, okay, so here's our preview for those of you at the beginning. Sounds like this. So, I mean, there's still a lot of work to be done. Went down some funny paths, but we've found our way to this sort of a thing. The cuts and chops need to be, you know, redone. Probably progress things a little bit more, work with the form a bit more. But uh, this video is unique in that uh, we really go down a weird, like it just wasn't working. At least I didn't think it was. So we came to this and uh, this sounds pretty cool. Drums and stuff all need to be cleaner. Like I know there's still a ton that needs to happen, but hopefully this will give you some ideas on things you can do and perhaps use. I don't know. Subscribe and have a blessed day.